This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. You've seen in the previous lesson how to go about creating a chart based on some data that you may have, whether that's tabular data, whether that's columns of data, or whether that's like a little mini table in our population data set. Yeah, and you've seen that we've been able to create a pie chart, a line chart, or a column chart. Now, although I effectively described that as the long way, it wasn't that long and it was fairly straightforward, but there is an even quicker way. So if we were to take our pair information, again, you need to highlight the data. That's still part of the process. If you don't highlight the data, the short way definitely doesn't work. So the pair information is highlighted, and then there is one single keyboard shortcut to do all the clicking that we did before. And that keyboard shortcut is F11. One press on F11, and there's my pair data. Column chart, each month, and then little bars for each week. If you compare that to these graphs, they're pretty much the same style. Now the difference between F11 and doing things the slightly longer way is that F11 has created me a new chart, fantastic, but it's placed it in its own sheet. So we have here chart five, which I can rename pair data. And you'll see that when we look at modifying chart, we can move this chart from being in its own sheet to being a little graph in the data sheet as we have here very quickly to move them between one or the other. And these ones that were created through the menu, which now exist as smaller charts within the data sheets, they can have their own tabs as well. It's all down to personal preference or whether you need to see quite a big graph because these would look quite good in their own sheet using the full screen. So that keyboard shortcut is highlight the data. Let's do the game with the training data. Highlight all of that running information and F11 creates me my graph. Always a column chart. There's no choice of chart when you use the keyboard shortcut. But as we'll see in a future lesson, you can change the chart type fairly easily anyway. And you could even change your default chart type. If you're always using the same chart type, make whatever chart type that is the default, and F11 will create that type of chart. And lastly, if we were to do that nifty little keyboard shortcut on our population data, exactly the same, highlight the data, F11, and we get a column chart to compare our populations of continents. Obviously, there's a big bar there for Asia and a tiny, tiny little bar there for Oceania.